Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video we are once again talking about gold armor packs because they are once again available on the cartel market. Uh, these were available last December and usually Bioware only brings them around once every year. So last year in 2016 we only saw these once and that was in December. However, it seems as though Bioware is planning on bringing these back more and more. Uh, Bioware always likes making these new deals now every weekend that uh, we get some new type of pack. Last weekend we had the Grand Shadows packs and stuff. And so this weekend we do have the Gold Armor packs back and I've talked about these in previous videos. I absolutely love these things so I'm happy Bioware plans to kind of bring them back more and more. It's a great way uh, for people who have like their monthly cartel coin stipend of 500 cartel coins and if they want to save it up, these are a great thing to buy and open. Uh, they're a ton of fun and I'll be opening 30 of them in this video just to give you guys a really good sense of what these are like, uh, what kind of stuff comes out of it, what are your chances of getting the really good gold armor sets or are you kind of just getting crappy uh, gold armor sets that are um, you know not too good, not too bad. But just to start this video off, I do want to let you guys know that if you're not so much interested in gambling but you want to know what these packs are worth by themselves, they do sell for around 20 million credits. I have some footage up here which is me selling these gold armor packs back in December when they were available. Uh, this is December of 2016. They did sell for around 17 million credits and, and then I have another piece of footage of me selling gold armor packs very very recently, only about a week ago and they both sold at like 19 million credits. Uh, so they do sell very well at that price. I have read reports on Reddit and online forums where people claim to have sold these for 30 to 40 million credits. Uh, only one person has actually shown me proof in one of the comments of my videos. He showed me that he did indeed sell two of these at 32 million credits each. And then the other people, you know, they might just be saying it or they might very well be telling the truth that these things sell at much higher prices. I personally have not had so much luck selling them upwards of 20 million credits. I do put those auctions up, but they never seem to sell. However, I do sell them very well at under 20 million. So the second I go down to like 19, 18, 17 million credits, I almost always get a sale in a matter of a, of a day. So, um... That's the criteria by which I kind of determine whether these packs are worth it or not. As I talked about in a previous video, I was responding to a lot of the comments I get, which was uh, people say we don't care so much about how much credits the pack are worth, we kind of just care if the pack's good in general. But the criteria by which I determine whether a pack is good or not is by whether you can make more credits opening it than just by selling the pack itself. Because you know, you could, on one hand, you can open a gold armor pack and get a crappy gold armor set, or you could sell that gold armor pack and buy tons of good gold armor sets and collect a whole bunch of stuff and have a ton of fun doing it that way. However, as I've also said in previous videos, I think gold armor packs are one of the most fun packs to open. They do give you a really good chance at getting some of the really awesome, amazing, expensive stuff like the Revan armor sets. Uh, the Tulak Cord, Sith Recluse, Slozan, all that other really good stuff. And we'll see exactly how many good armor sets we can pull from opening 30 gold armor packs. Anyways, you guys are probably waiting for the pack opening to get started, so let's get right into it. Alright, so I have 30 gold armor packs here in my inventory to once and for all decide whether these things are worth it or not. 30 armor packs, that is a lot of packs to open. Uh, that's like well over 30,000 cartel coins. And knowing that they can sell for around 20 million credits, if not more, is... Um it means it's a gamble to open these things because there aren't many gold armor sets you can get from here that will sell for over 20 to 30 million credits and keep in mind that is the criteria I'm using to judge whether these are good or not but right off the bat we have the Dark Legionnaires armor set that will definitely sell over 20 to 30 million credits so that is a very very good drop. A very popular armor set although I'm not quite sure why it's that popular I personally have never been too fond of it but it does sell for a lot of credits. On the other hand the Ceremonial Mystics armor set here won't net you that much. Um, we have the Zakul Knight armor set. You know, that's worth a good 1,140 cartel coins on the cartel market, so a pretty even drop there. I mean, paid 1,200 for the armor pack and got an armor set that's going for 1,000 plus cartel coins. Uh, the Desert Scavenger, that's a bad drop. Ugh. Then we have the Revan Reborn. Now that is an awesome, awesome drop. You know, Bioware has been pretty kind to us with the RNG for this. I mean, it's not always bad gold armor sets. Uh, it's, it's a lot of good stuff too. The Phantom Armor set's okay. It's old, it's good for the collectors, but uh, but won't sell for that much on the GTN. And then the Thorn Containment Armor set. Uh, if you're playing the Rackwool event, you might use that. Other than that, I don't see much use for that armor set. 
and in the series 512 i absolutely love the cybernetic armor sets and that is actually my favorite one that one looks awesome the uh bold hellion so a really recent armor set the only good thing out of that's the upper body armor everything else kind of sucks Ghostly Magus armor set, probably one of the nicest helmets in the game, and uh, it's kind of a collector's thing, right? It doesn't drop out of cartel packs. You can only get it uh, when Bioware puts it on the cartel market during like the Halloween event and stuff. So that's a pretty good one. Another Dark Legionnaire's armor set. Hey, I'm not complaining, man. I'll take those repeats as long as they're those really good armor sets like that one. That one, I think, is right now going for like 50 to 70 million credits. Oh man, that's about the worst one. The Noble Commander. That is like the worst drop you can get from here. It's a terrible armor set. And the M44. Oh, these are just cartel market armor sets and they're so terrible. Uh, they look ugly, they don't sell well. They're just absolutely horrific. And the Sand Pillager is okay. See, a lot of these are direct sales from the cartel market and that's what I found when opening these things. Uh, it's really funny. Ah, oh, the Troublemaker is terrible too because um, that upper body armor is just so reskinned. Like you can get bronze versions that look identical. So if you want to go for that look, and then the Triumphant Predator is bad. Oh wow, these are really terrible drops now. It was really good beforehand. Come on, where are the Heaven Reborns? And the Shadow Corsair. Oh come on. The reason I'm saying these are so bad is just look at the GTN prices. Uh, I could pick up the entire armor set for like um, yeah, like one to two million credits. The Zozan's armor set I just got here. That was awesome, but um. And then the Chula Cord, that's an awesome drop. Yeah, these, these gold armor packs are a gamble, that's about all I can say. As you can see, I get either really good armor sets in succession or, really, or you know, crappy ones. So Cool Knight Captain, that's a mediocre, decent one. And then we have the Shrewd Rascal, Ugh. Thing is, you know, when Bioware reskins gold armor sets, it just it doesn't even make you feel good getting them because you know you could get a way cheaper version uh, that looks exactly identical. And here we have the MA44. That's terrible. That is terrible. The Mandalorian Hunter. Uh, yeah, any Mandalorian armor set will do. I love those stuff. Probably won't collect it because I have my set of Mandalorian armor sets I like to use, like the Cassis Fett and stuff, but uh, probably will sell pretty well. So that'll get a few good credits off the GTN. Life day vestments, I did not know that dropped out of this. Um, yeah, I don't really like, you know, the life day stuff's never really appealed to me. The artifact seeker, ugh. Another shrewd rascal. That's what I don't get. If these armor packs are dropping me armor sets from all the whole entire cartel market, how can I possibly get repeats? Like. How does the RNG allow for repeats? I'll never understand that. And then Stalwart Protector, another cartel market armor set. So that's kind of the RNG you guys can expect from this. I mean, like, it's a gamble. As you can see, it got a ton of really great stuff. I got, like, Zozon's armor set, then right after Tulok Horde, and a lot of other good stuff. But then again, I also have a lot of these repeat items, um, like, that are just direct sales from the cartel market. And all of them aren't too good. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of this stuff isn't really worth over 20 million credits and I know what people are going to say right off the bat like we don't care if it sells well or not. I get those comments so much but think about it this way you buy a gold armor set for 1200 cartel coins you open it and you get an armor set worth four to five million credits well you could have just uh, sold that gold armor set for 20 million credits and bought four gold armor sets worth five million credits so you have to kind of take that into account that it is a gamble. At the end of the day, you're gambling with the fact that you will get an armor set worth more than 20 million credits because if you didn't, then you, then you lost out on those credits because you could have sold that and, and gotten the other good stuff. But as you guys can see from this video, there is a strong chance that you will get something good. I mean, I got some really awesome armor sets from opening 30 of them. But at the same time, I also got a ton of these, uh, you know, decent armor sets that will still look nice. And I don't think you'll feel like you wasted your money because you still got a good armor set out of it at the end of the day. Uh, the only really bad drops I got were like the Noble Commander, uh, the MA44. Those are really bad looking armor sets from the cartel market. Uh, they still, you know, if you want to buy them, they'll actually still cost you like 1,000 cartel coins, but they're just super ugly and they've been there forever. So I don't think anyone really buys them anymore. And, um, and then the Triumphant Predator and the Shadow Corsair, interestingly enough, I got both of those gold armor sets and those are both of them from the Plunderers pack. And they are probably some of the ugliest armor sets to hit the cartel market recently. 
Uh, those are really bad. The Troublemaker was bad. So there are some crappy drops. And it's unfortunate if you go out and pay money for this or you've uh, grinded credits and stuff and you buy this pack off the GTN and, and you open it and you get this crappy drop. Uh, me personally, I think Bioware should streamline it and just give us the really good gold armor sets. And it's BS to say that, you know, all gold armor sets are good because they're not. It's very evident that there are some really crappy ones out there that no one really wants. Um, but at the end of the day, this is an okay cartel pack, probably one of the funnest cartel packs to open because it gives you such a good chance of getting something really good. And so, uh, you know, if you're looking for some fun, definitely the, these are the ones to gamble with. I would suggest, you know, these grand chance cubes or some of the grand packs are a lot of fun to open. Anyways, all this stuff is much greater than the uh, Hyper Craze. I'm telling you, I've opened Hyper Craze, like just the general cartel packs. The RNG is so bad and you get so many repeats, it's just not fun to open them. I mean, it's supposed to be a fun experience opening cartel packs and it's just not. Um, but opening these gold armor packs was probably one of the best pack openings I've had and when it comes to just having fun and having a good time. So I really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. And I hope this video gave a really good sense of what these packs are like, because that's what the point of this was. Um, you know, I don't really, I wouldn't have personally opened 30 of these, but I just thought to myself, let's give a really good uh, verdict on these packs. Are they good? Are they bad? What really do you get? What are the chances of getting the really good stuff like the Revan and the Tulak Cord and all that other stuff? A Sith Recluse is probably one of the best armor sets you can get. I got it in a recent pack opening that I did uh, last December when the gold armor packs were available. But um, yeah. Okay, anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.